Hello everybody. In uh, this video, I'm going to uh, turn the handle on the lathe into this. Now, <laughs> I didn't want to spend the time on a drill press doing this, so it's back to the lathe. And this will really cut the time down on it. I'm pretty much finished with the drill press. So everything that I do from here on out is going to be on the lathe. So let's get started here. I'm going to turn this into this. So here we go. Now, I'm going to check up on this. Get my three quarter inch wrench. I'm going to tighten this down. Okay, it's in the chuck, it's tightened down. And I'm ready to go here. First thing I'm going to do is turn the handle through. Pretty good. Three C speed up. looks like it truded up pretty good and we still have one inch 160 thousand still a little larger than this diameter yep. still a little bit larger than the original diameter I was using so what we're gonna do here is instead of using my ball turner that I made out of a little rotary table, a little three inch rotary table, which is what I usually use. I'm gonna do this with just, just I'm gonna set it at a 45. What we're gonna do here is cut this corner and 45 I'm gonna take off approximately two tenths of an inch so do is move the compound 22 and a half degrees 
one way or the other. We'll move it this way first. There's 10, 20, one, two and a half. All right. Still get in here with this. And we're gonna take a little off of here. the other direction from the 45 degrees we'll add 22 and a half to it so there's 45 10 20 1 2 22 work on this one. Five degrees. Lock it down. take a file and round that out. We'll do that later. Now what I want to do is turn this around. do is set my compound at seven or eight degrees five six seven almost eight degrees right there all right lock down the compound profile on that nut.
these chips. Alright. flats on the nut showing so we'll keep going a little farther here all right we've got our nut turned down to about eight degrees and now we're going to move the compound to 20 degrees. Compound set to 20. Lock down, lock it down. Now we're going to work on the aluminum handle here. file on it now. Push this up.
And there we have it. Now that was a lot easier than doing it on the uh, drill press. But if a drill press is all you've got and you got time, you can get to that. Okay. That's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.